as most of you know, Richard Sherman and I once had an infamous clash on ESPN 11 years ago. But a lot was going on that day that you might not know. Richard and I have shared our versions of what happened with each other. We've learned, I think, a lot from each other and are now totally cool. In fact, I, I got to tell you, I like Richard a lot, and I pushed hard to have him as a teammate here on the new Undisputed. So now Richard and I are going to walk you back through what really happened. Okay, so allow me to start. Mm -hmm. I'm on first take with my man Stephen A. Smith, and we are auditioning for an afternoon show. So on top of the two-hour morning show, for about an eight-week run, we're doing a half-hour afternoon show that was actually on, we were on E2, so this was regular ESPN. And we were told Richard wants to come on, but he doesn't want to do anything controversial, so kind of let my guard down because you'd been in some controversies, gone after Tom Brady on the field after you beat them up in Seattle and you were going back and forth with Dar Darrell Rivas and Roddy White on Twitter. So here we go, and you're about to get mic'd up, hooked up audio-wise, and you have your earpiece in, and I can see you in the monitor, but you don't yet have your microphone. Right. So my producer is frantically saying in my air as we come on live for just a half hour show, mm -hmm. you got a vamp. So I, I'm just babbling. I don't have a game plan. I don't have anything. And I reach for, well, Richard's been saying that he's already better than Darrell Rivas. And I said, I, I don't see that yet. Not yet. And at that moment, you sat down. And I think we asked you some just cliche football question. And instead, you answered by coming right after mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Now, give me your side. Skip, I was getting, I was getting mic'd, and I could hear you in my ear vamping. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big-time respect guy. So you say I got into this controversy. I usually don't start them, but I'm, I'm happy to finish them. You, 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 you run do. your mouth. Tom yeah. was talking that game. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I talk. Uh, Revis was talking, you know, got on Twitter, got on a rant. So then I'm going to talk. I'm going to put the numbers out there. I'm going to put the facts. You and can argue you told with your me, mom. You were a numbers guy. I'm a numbers you guy. had the numbers and to back up your case. I got the numbers to always back up my case. If I ain't got the numbers, I'm probably not making a case. And so all I can hear is the disrespect in my <laughs> ear. Skip, I'm sitting there like, not even like, hey, he's in the same ballpark or, you know, he's coming on or he's like, he's not even in the same stratosphere. I said, okay. This is disrespect, Skip. <laughs> this Skip, I'm gonna have to respond to this as soon as possible. So when I got on the show, it was like the first thing, first chance I get. I don't care the question. I'm dropping it. You came hard. <laughs> Pause. Okay, now more backstory from my side. Mm -hmm. First take at that point was on probation because we had had several incidents, fortunately not involving me. But we were one day away from our audition period trying to stay clean. So I'm thinking quickly as you come after me, oh my God, w w this is terrible because Stephen A badly wanted to get a an afternoon slot so that he could sleep a little longer because he goes late to the games and goes to a lot of games. I'm, I'm pulling for him and for us to get it. Mm -hmm. So I am dancing as fast as I can thinking, I can't really fight fire with my usual fire or this is going to blow up, not that it hadn't already. Right, right. So I am playing against you with one hand tied behind my back, but I'm, I'm trying to, to hold in with you as best I can without creating a fire storm. Right. But you got more and more worked up. And the truth is the more we have talked about it, I'm built just like you are. No if, if it had been shoe on the other foot, I, I would have come after me just like you came after me because I would have been incensed over it because it was very disrespectful. But I'm under the impression we're not even going to be controversial. controversial. <laughs> so I don't have any plan in place to be controversial. And it goes completely off the rails. Yet the irony of all this was for me in my lengthy career at ESPN, I got the highest marks for the way I handled myself that I ever got from the people upstairs. Oh, you, you didn't stoop to, to mudsling or fight fire with fire as you usually do. You stayed cool under fire. Well, I, I was trying to, so we didn't have another incident. And unfortunately, thanks to you, but, but again, I love you for what you did. We did have an incident 
it did cost us the the afternoon slot mm. one day from vacation. We were all going to go on vacation for a week after this eight week run because it was a lot of show to do two hours in the morning and then try to do a whole new half hour version of what we had done in the morning. Mm -hmm. So as we have spoken and talked and I've gotten to know you, we're actually way more alike than you might think if you see that. Oh, right? I definitely see that. Okay. I definitely, as we've talked, as we've had our conversations, our brunches, um, our conversations in the, in the green room, yep. it's been amazing to hear how similar we are and yep. how, how prepared you are and how driven you are, how you came from the bottom, Skip. I got a ton of respect for what you've done and how you've mm -hmm. done it. You've made yourself a household name without Thank playing you. a sport. Thank you, I appreciate that very much. You came straight out of Compton, you went to Stanford, and you were a third round pick, probably because you didn't time that fast, right. but, but you play fast, and you play fast up here. And I was broken home, coming from the dregs, Oklahoma City, to Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. And then I made myself at Vanderbilt. I got a full scholarship that my mom could have never sniffed affording to send me there. And I don't know if your parents could afford to no. send you to Stanford. No, no, my only choice was to get a scholarship. So I appreciate okay. that. I, I, I'm still grateful for our moment, Skip, because I think it was positive for both of us in the end. And we know how to disrespect. I can't wait for this show to continue and us to, to, to go back and forth. I'm excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. I, I can already say I love you, man. Love you too. Way to go.